This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're back in the Gorilla with Flying Swive. Now, you guys have seen a lot of Gorilla videos and this is just another cherry on top. You look at the uh, matchmaking here and you think that this is slightly bad matchmaking for a Gorilla. I mean, look at all of those artillery. That is just begging for us to be absolutely obliterated in this wide open map where there is no cover, really. I mean, it's it's really, really vulnerable to artillery fire. I mean, I've already shown you guys what happens when a gorilla gets in contact with any uh, large or even medium sized artillery round. It doesn't end well for the gorilla. All right, so what are we going to do? I'm watching my entire team camp the base, and that's terrifying. I do not want to be a frontline tank. I don't. Believe it or not, it, it does not have my best interest in mind, being a frontliner. So I fall back towards Swive. Because I know most of their team is going to come around the, the edge at H8, H9. Right there at that corner. That's where a lot of their team comes through. Because when they spawn, they go straight through the pass and come around the bend. Come on around the bend. Wait. Come on the rising wind. We're going up around the bend. Ooh. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> got off track there for a minute, but we're waiting for somebody to be spotted. Now, the first thing to get spotted is on the other side of the map. That doesn't do us a bit of good. We've got an E100 spotted center. Again, doesn't do me any good. And we're just waiting for somebody to make a move on this right side. The bad news is our spotter on this side is right next to us. Oh, there we go. There's our first target. IS-7. He's broadside on. Get the shot, get the shot, get the shot. Oh, he's tracked or he stopped something. I pull up to get a better shot on these guys. And shot into the E5. We track him. Come on, stay there, E5. Don't go. Just stay there. Everybody's punching him in the mouth now. Come on, shot out. There we go, 722. That got him to back off. He's now a one-shot kill. And now he's dead. <laughs> Thank you, Artie. Appreciate it. It's one less tier 10 to worry about. IS-7's running down the cliff, and we've got a rock in between us. Oh, what do we got here? That looked like a Death Star, and it is. I don't want to touch any... I don't, well, I want to touch him. What are you doing, M103? Good lord, are you trying to get me shot? Oh, T-10's coming out. Come on. Come on, Spartan. Don't miss this shot. And... Shot out. Pow, 820 good shot on the move right there I, you notice I was gonna lead him too far and then I backed back towards him because I realized hey by the way the gorillas rounds are really fast so uh, don't overlead it and we track the IS-7 all they have to do is pin him while he's broadside on and they will have the kill meanwhile he, he manages to fix his track without getting killed and then he dies Go figure. Death Star, that's not preferable. And he's behind the hill, so we can't shoot him. T10's back out to play. Come on. Nothing. Death Star, nothing. Alright, we've got a light tank rolling up the middle behind us, and he's got support. So I need to fall back. 
I can't finish these guys. Okay. Light tank is now dead. That's a good start. But they are coming around the back side of us. Centurion. That's going to go badly for you, brother. You picked a wrong place to come across. There's a lot of people waiting for you. But immediately I'm like, hey, I'm going to fall back, try to catch some of these guys slipping over here. And by catch them slipping, I mean I've got to be careful. I am not. Oh, there we go. Motherland is spotted and we damage his visor. That's what I'm talking about with this tank. The gorilla is very, very, very good at damaging modules and leaving tanks with all of their health. I don't like that. I, I mean, it's good to damage modules, but at the same time, if if I shoot somebody, I hope to do some damage other than just breaking their visor. That's annoying as crap. Alright, IS-7's pushing up on a Conqueror and an E5, and he's winning. I don't like it. So I come over here to tip the balance of power in our favor. E5's pushing down on them, and Arties are just raining everywhere around these guys. And Arties take out the Conqueror, leaving the E5 and the IS-7 to duke it out. Who's going to win that fight? Well, Arties are going to be raining on him any second. Wait for it. One. Come on, get out of there. You're being very predictable, and there it is. And he got ammo racked, and his turret disappeared. Oh, well. You mean, you you were spotted for a long time. You knew Arties were shooting at you, and you sat out in the open. It's gonna be a paddling more times than not when those conditions are met. Now, this IS-7's pushed up, shooting at our Arties. We've got one Artie left. We've got me and Swive. We are gonna have to pull something out. I've only got two pins at this point. This has not been a good game for me. But, you can see I got a little cheeky, decided to take the shot, should have taken. But, you know, you have to do what you gotta do sometimes. Now you can see I immediately switched to HE. Because I don't care at this point. I need him gone. And... Wait for it. He fired his shot, so all I gotta do is hit him and he dies. And there it is. 63 damage on a HE round. So he's down. Now I've gotta keep moving and making myself unpredictable because Artie will absolutely annihilate me. Now, I don't know what this STI is doing, but he's given me, you know, somebody else to shoot at. And he just completely whiffs right there. I don't know what he did. There. Oh, okay, that was the medium tank shoot man. Medium tank goes in, finishes off my job. That's good. Just get them off the board, T-54. Alright, so we've lost half our health. We've evened the game back up. We actually took the lead by one tank. They've got one medium and four artillery to go. Now, the medium, I believe, is the motherland that we spotted earlier in the game, and we hit for a uh, break in his visor, but other people hit him as well. So he's low health. All we gotta do is find him, kill him, stay away from Artie, and then find the Arties and kill them. Very, very simple strategy. Not easily executed. So Swive finds the first Artie and deals with him. That's the Lorraine off the board. Motherland is right here, and as you can see, I'm tunnel visioning pretty hard. Driving right at him. And... Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. Artie misses me. That's a good thing. Because I was driving in a straight line at a specific speed for a while. If he knew what he was doing, that should have been a paddling. But I get lucky once in a while. Not all the time, but once in a while I get lucky. Now here I told Swive, I said, I'll find these Artie. I ain't scared. And first Artie's lit. M55 and dead. M43 is over by Swive. And the other Arties on my left. It's the Lorraine. I see one of them. We auto lock him, slow down, stop, and shoot, and it missed. It missed. 
he short shoots it and that's the end of his game because I ain't gonna let him reload. Goodbye, sunshine. <laughs> Alright, so we end up making a decent game out of it. Seven hits, four kills. You know, it was a little slow building, but once once we got into position and were able to help kill some of these guys, 3,700 damage, 1,700 assisted, four kills. Top of the leaderboard was Swive getting 5k and three kills, which gives us seven kills between the two of us, another brothers in arms, and, you know, the rest is history. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.